In November of 2021, first of all, you had Eternals that came out November 5th. Infamously, this was the first time that an MCU film got a rotten critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. On top of that, it only got a B cinema score and underperformed at the box office. Eternals is directed by Chloe Zhao, who consistently, before this movie came out, put out movies that were critically acclaimed. Eternals is part of Phase 4 of the MCU. Then you had One Shot, came out November 5th action film directed by james nunn and then spencer that came out november 5th biographical psychological drama directed by pablo lorraine written by stephen knight and then the beta test came out november 5th horror thriller directed by jim cummings and pj mccabe and then ida red came out november 5th crime drama written and directed by john swab and then Clifford the Big Red Dog came out November 10th. That's based on the children's book series of the same name by Norman Bridwell. And then you had Belfast that came out November 12th. Black and white coming of age comedy drama written and directed by Kenneth Branagh. And then you had Tick Tick Boom came out November 12th. Musical drama based on the semi-autobiographical musical of the same name by Jonathan Larson, directed by Lynn manuel Miranda in his feature directorial debut. Then you had The Power of the Dog, came out November 17th, Western drama based on the 1967 novel of the same name by Thomas Savage and directed by Jane Campion. Then Ghostbusters Afterlife came out November 19th, directed by Jason Reitman, and then you had King Richard, came out November 19th, biographical drama directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green, based on a true story, and then Come On, Come On, came out November 19th, black and white drama written and directed by Mike Mills, and then Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City, came out November 24th, survival horror film written and directed by Johannes Roberts and that is a reboot to the Resident Evil franchise and then Encanto came out November 24th the latest Disney animated film directed by B Byron Howard then House of Gucci came out November 24th biographical crime film directed by Ridley Scott based on the 2001 book the House of Gucci and a sensational story of murder, madness, glamour, and greed by Sarah Gay Forden. Then you had The Unforgivable, came out November 24th, drama directed by Nora Finscheit. I think I mispronounced that name. And that was it right there for November 2021. I ended up seeing two new theatrical releases that month, House of Gucci, which I saw for both my parents and Eternals that just me and mom saw. I ended up watching Encanto and Clifford the Big Red Dog later on. I watched those on streaming rather than in the theaters. That'll be it for now.